Hello friends, this is Raj Sathri from Raj Option Trading. Today is September 15, 2021. I want to talk about stocks that have pulled back pretty hard. So with that, yesterday major averages dropped. As you can see here, all the three major indices, Dow Jones, Nasdaq, S&P 500, all dropped for the day. And stock futures bounced a little bit as markets try to shake off uh, September doldrums. There is a small uptick in stock futures, too early to call. And then we got inflation, which is eased in August. So we had been waiting for CPI and the inflation numbers. Looks like it's not going to impact us. Uh, that's the good news here. Um, and then we got your um, quadruple witching uh, coming up. Options expirations blamed for uh, mid-month volatility. So this is where we have uh, simultaneous expiration of, of Friday individual stock options, stock index options, index futures all at once. That's the reason for some volatility here. So I think it's expected uh, during quadruple witching here. And Apple came out with the Apple 13, iPhone 13 upgrades you know they are boring but they still sell so i think apple you know typically what happens is after the event stock drops off a little bit and then it will pick up so i think it could be a good one to buy apple slowly into this weakness and then we got your covid-19 boosters uh, they're coming here and that may be helping um, individuals to go out and travel so it's always good to have these boosters uh, that will also help with the people who are fully vaccinated. And then you got your Macau China is again, um, you know, curbing some of this uh, gambling here. That's why all our operators like Wind Resorts, Las Vegas Sands, all down big, could be worth buying slowly into this weakness. So with that, let's uh, jump in here and go. So as you look here, these are the stocks which have pulled back pretty hard yesterday. Um, as you can see here, in one day, these stocks have pulled back so hard. So ATER down 39%, um, Sprout, uh, sorry, support.com here down 38%, and GSAT down. As you can see here, this list is sorted by one day performance, and stock at the top has lost the most. So the way I like to scan uh, this type of situation is, I like to look at what institutions are doing, what insiders are doing. In this scenario with ATER, you know, and uh, EFTR, uh, PAR, BBIG, and even M MDXG, which dropped big time yesterday, uh, institutions are buying. That's a good sign. That's one thing I always pay close attention. And I also look at insiders. In some cases here, um, Herbalife, as an example, drop big time and also ziop there is some insider buying that's also a good sign we should pay attention to that one too and then i look at uh, sales and sales growth typically look for rule of 40 a quarter over quarter sales growth plus gross margin greater than 40 in many cases here like ater and hlf and par uh, brp i mean the rule of 40 satisfies in most of these cases these are fundamentally good companies you could uh, look at those if you want to be a long term or a swing trader as an example and then i would look at uh, gross margin and net margin some companies here hub herbalife as an example has got a you know some net margin here as you might be knowing this company herbalife is a story stock with the uh, you know bill bill and uh, um, you know, this hedge fund manager, I call Icon, they uh, fought over this company. I think it looks like right now it's uh, dropping off. It's good to buy a little bit and uh, take it from there. And then we got here debt to equity. Some of some players have got high debt on their balance sheet. Something to think about. Um, I'll, I don't like too much debt on the balance sheet, but uh, in some industries it could be okay. And then we got here RSI, tells you is it good to buy at these levels, high RSI indicated by red here, you should watch out, probably wait a little bit, but a low RSI could be okay here. For example, support.com is now dropping off a little bit, so maybe okay to slowly you know, jump in and buy some. And as you scan through here, we got low RSI in Kasawa here, MDXG, 
even win for that matter after this drop off this should be also cooling off those are some players you can look at and coupled with the high short ratio look at the high short ratio here 28 percent 45 percent and even uh, par here you know i think you know you got to make sure that it's a short ratio is high rsi is lower than 55 or so um, and there is a you know possibility of you know good insider buys and also institution buys those could be your formula for success by the way if you got a good fundamental company that satisfies rule of 40 i think that's a bonus here so with that let's uh, jump in here and look at some uh, indices here so as you look through here yesterday was a down day i got here a three month one day chart here s p 500 as you can see here down for last uh, couple days uh, as you can see here you got to watch this out as you scan through here you could look at the support level around 4400 here for an intermediate support so that may be the situation here we might be hitting there and as you look through here um, Dow Jones industrial average little more steeper uh, drop here you might be looking at around 3400 level here that could be good support level as you go forward and then you got Nasdaq here same story dropping big time right now we are into first support right here around uh, you know 15 uh, uh, 390 or so that could be our first level and then we got to look at the second level somewhere around 15,000 or so and then you got Russell Russell as you can see here it's a little more a leading indicator as you can see here they are already broke through the first initial support level here they might be headed somewhere here the second support level around 2150 or a little below 2150 here so we've got to watch out russell carefully that will tell us what broader markets will do and zb here bonds are uh, strengthening here as you can see you know as bond market uh, strengthens that's why stock markets are dropping here we got to keep a close attention here um, and then you got uh, treasuries or um, you know 10 year um, you know um, treasury uh, rates here the 10 year rates as you can see here it's a dropping a little bit so tnx and zb have got inverse relationships as zb goes up rates go down that's why we got to watch these two these two will have an impact on the stock market as, as bonds go up typically the stock market comes down that's what is happening here you know bond being a bigger market and then you got crude oil uh, trying to see where to go here a little bit up as you can see here and if you're looking for a like a small trade here swing trade you could uh, you know buy some of these oil stocks and uh, energy stocks like chevron exxon even um, you know so conoco philip as an example um, eog some of those names could be good to swing trade here even though market is uh, dropping off energy is holding up here that could be good news for some oil stocks and then you got gold here gold is i think it's trying to improve here there is a good up day yesterday as market tanked bond went up gold went up so this is where the safe haven comes into play even though gold is not not a huge uh, great performer over the time it provides the hedging value against stock market drop and then you got dollar here dollar is pretty flat as you can see here so it's not a um, it's it's not a catalyst for any of these moves right now so with that in, a, in summary look for some more continued volatility in the indices in september actually throughout the rest of the year and days like yesterday were great buying opportunities you should uh, slowly buy some of the good names at uh, lower prices and as the market bounces off, you can, uh, you know, you can lighten up a little bit and get ready to buy more as market tanks. So that's the trend here. You know, as you look through these indices, there are always good opportunity to buy. Then you could trim, and you could also hold some core positions for a long time. So that way, you hold your core position and you trade around some of these uh, bounces and uh, keep active in the market so with that uh, from a major stock perspective here microsoft looks like it's trying to uh, touch 25 day moving average here and bounce slowly even though market tanked yesterday microsoft went up as you can see here that tells you microsoft is pretty resilient here i would be buying microsoft you know at uh, these levels here around 290 or so 
looks like it's uh, giving some nice uh, uh, bounce here from 25 day moving average here. And Apple here, uh, you know, I would be a buyer of Apple slowly. Now that news about uh, Apple's uh, upgrade is all up, iPhone is out, iWatch announcement is out, I'll be a buyer of Apple here slowly. Stock is now trying to bounce off of its, uh, you know, 50 day moving average as you can see here. Could be good to buy some Apple into this uh, down uh, or a pullback here and take it from there. Amazon.com is one of the weaker stocks here. I think uh, CEO Andy Jassy will uh, will do well. You know, it's uh, touching its 100-200 uh, day moving average here. I would be a buyer of Amazon.com at these levels and these guys will do well. And then you got Facebook here. Facebook also came down a little bit. Typically it uh, hits its 25 day moving average then bounces off. I'll be looking at buying some Facebook as it touches uh, 25 day moving average around 370 or so. Google is a little weak as you can see here. It's uh, you know at its uh, um, 100 day moving average. I'll be buying Google into this weakness. And then you got Netflix again uh, down a little bit. I'll be watching this a little bit. I'll be comfortable buying around uh, 50 day moving average around 548 or so. Right now Netflix is a little high for me. I think this was the best time to buy after the quarterly earnings. And then you got Nvidia. Uh, I would like this to cool off a little bit before I buy. Probably I'm comfortable buying a little bit at 216 which is a 25 day moving average. And then I might add as it drops into 50 day moving average around 206. J and J is taking through the chins here, uh, pulling back pretty pretty hard here. I'll be a buyer of J and J slowly at these levels. It's a great stock. And then you got PayPal. PayPal is trying to show some resilience here. Stock is trying to bounce off of its 50 day moving average. I'll be a buyer of PayPal slowly at these levels and take it from there. And UNH, it was a great buy last week when it dropped off big time. Now it's trying to bounce off. I'm still a buyer of JNJ, uh, sorry, UNH, given RSI is 46, still oversold. Good one to buy. And Merck, I think it's a good one to buy here. Uh, stock is down big time here. I think this will come back nicely. G you know, Merck always gives you buying opportunities like this. I think we should buy some and take it from there. And Metron is also good to buy right now. Stock is uh, stock has come down pretty hard. Right now it's trying to be um, bouncing, you know, try, trying to go below 50 day moving average. I'm sure it will bounce off slowly. I would be a buyer of Metronics here. As you look through here, JP Morgan, I think it's also a good one to buy. With the inflation not that uh, great, um, there is no hope for the interest rates to hike. That's why this stock also came down. This is a good one to buy into this weakness along with JP Morgan and also Visa is a good one here. Stock is down off late in a good to buy slowly. It's trying to bounce off of its 200 day moving average here. And then you got Home Depot here. Home Depot is a little bit stronger of the stocks here. I'll wait for a, wait for a small pullback here and buy some Home Depot. And next we got a couple of other great stocks. I love Oracle here. Oracle after the quarterly earnings stock dropped. I think it's a good one to buy at these levels. Oracle always comes down after the drop. If you see here last quarter stock dropped, came back up nicely. This quarter is no different. Safra Katz and Larry Ellison have got what it takes. I would be a buyer of Oracle here into this weakness. And then you got SAP, same story. I would be a buyer of SAP here. Now that Oracle's news is out, I think both will do well. You know, both stocks kind of go together and uh, great trades. Um, you know, Oracle is a great long-term buyer also, but you could trade around both Oracle and SAP, typically bounce around in the around the quarter ends. And then you got Shopify. Shopify has been dropping off late. I'll be slowly adding to my position here and get ready for uh, bounce later. And Snap, I think uh, right now Snap dropped below 50-day um, moving average, trying to close its gap uh, somewhere here. I would be a buyer of uh, Snap around say 67 or uh, around that level. It's a great stock. I think Snap will be going to 100 in a year, year or so. 
And then you got Twitter here. Twitter after dropping, dropping, dropping. Now it's showing some resilience. I'm a buyer of Twitter at these levels. It's a great stock. Jack Dorsey is a great leader. And Take-Two Interactive, I think uh, stock is down, down, down. I think there was some delay in their uh, label. I would be buyer of um, Twitter, sorry, uh, Take-Two Interactive here. Great video game play. You should also look at Electronic Arts, EA, and Activision Blizzard, and Zynga. Um, even um, even uh, uh, stocks like the platform place, you could look at uh, some of those also, like Unity as an example. And then you got AMD. I would be a buyer of AMD around uh, around hundred day hundred dollars or so. Wait for it to cool off a little bit. Right now it's okay to buy a little bit because RSI is forty nine. Tells you stock is uh, getting oversold at these levels. And we got uh, vaccine place Moderna. Stock is uh, trying to bounce off of its twenty five day moving average. You know I'm comfortable to buy Moderna around four hundred four hundred or so. And then you got AXP here. I love AXP. Um, I think it's a good one to buy. Right now, stock is dropping off a little bit. I think it's okay to buy slowly. And then you got your CVS. Uh, it's a drugstore and health insurance type play. I think this is uh, come down pretty hard here. RSI is 46. I would be a buyer of uh, CVS here and take it from there. Abby, it's a great stock. Stock is stock is down as you can see here i would be a buyer of fab at this level this will be a great one for even your uh, uh, retirement portfolio edward life sense pretty strong here it's a you know medical device play here uh, elective surgeries i would wait for it to cool off a little bit and then you got here bank of america good one to buy stock is uh, touching its 100 day moving average i'll be a buyer of bank of america along with citigroup and MasterCard, I think those are the good ones. So with that, uh, let's jump in here. Look at stocks that have pulled back pretty hard yesterday. So the way I organized this chart is I got here a market stock price, market cap, insider and institution buys. You know, very good to look at insider buys and institution buys. And then I got sales and sales growth, very important. You want to look for rule of 40. We are quarter over quarter growth plus gross margin greater than 40. Those are your fundamentally strong candidates. And then look for RSI. RSI here, um, 84 is too high. Tells the stock is uh, hot at these levels. Overbought. I'd be waiting for this to cool off before I jump in. And if you're an options trader, look for IV percentile. A high IV percentile like 88 here tells you you can uh, make some uh, do some premium selling here for example when rsi is high IV percentile is high you could sell some call premiums at a higher price um, rsi being high stock can cool off you, know, you could uh, you know, be careful if you're not comfortable selling naked calls uh, it's good to sell uh, call spread so that way you don't overexpose yourself and you know, in, you know, in this, you know, in, in these type of situations when RSI is high and IV percentile is high, it's good to you know sell uh, put options at a higher level because you make some money being IV percentile being high. Then look at um, short ratio here. Anytime there is a high short ratio, there is a chance for the short squeeze. But I would uh, look for the nice entry position where RSI is lower, not higher, like this. Um, and then we look at uh, performance here one day all the way to five year to give you a good idea where the stock is at. Normally, I like to see low RSI levels below 50 and stock being down uh, and trying to improve in the near term. We'll spot through some of those things here and take it from there. As you look through here, uh, we got support.com after running so hard now it's coming down at these levels uh, I'm, I'm slowly adding support.com um, because right now IV percentile 52 stock has been sold off in one day five day and ten day at these levels I'm comfortable to slowly buy a support.com and start building a position ready for short squeeze as you go forward and then as you scan through here, I got here Herbalife. You know, I think RSI will be cooling off after yesterday's big drop here. I'm going to be slowly accumulating some Herbalife here. Given RSI will be cooling off, 
and I think this uh, short ratio is low right now but still I think it's a good one for a swing type trade I'll be slowly buying and taking it from there Herbalife has been dropping since one day five day uh, ten day and one month so it's good to slowly accumulate and then you got par here par as you can see here institutions are buying here and nice uh, um, sales growth here and gross margin satisfies rule of 40 RSI is 55 tells your stock is uh, you know in the borderline sold off type scenario here Sh high short ratio and stock has been dropping off uh, in the near term so I'd be willing to buy some uh, uh, par at these levels along with the uh, next is big big here Winko this used to be a great short squeeze play uh, two weeks ago right now looks like institutions are buying slowly here and um, RSI a little high for me but uh, I'll be watching this and accumulating as it drops a little bit slowly as you can see a stock has been uh, sold off in one day um, and uh, five day and ten day so I'll be slowly looking at um, uh, big big and slowly accumulating and get ready for next uh, short squeeze here look at the IV percentile little high here you could also buy some put options at lower price or sell some put options at a lower price uh, to you know get some premium in and as you scan through here I would be skipping some of these because of high RSI but as you scan through we could look at uh, a gen here even though RSI is a little high you could slowly buy this into this weakness and take it from there and then you got your cassava cassava has been dropping like a bag of hammer here I'm slowly buying cassava even though um, you know there is no sales here there is no sales growth this at times bounces off big time so I'm slowly accumulating you know so that way I have a good nice position here and go from there and then you got your MDXG um, me med I think this one also dropped big time as you can see here um, and it's got fundamentally good, nice sales and gross margin and ins institutions are buying this I'm taking advantage of this weakness here in MDXG and buying some of its stock and get ready for uh, next up move I think short ratio is 7% right now and wind resort I think this is a good uh, stock because there's a Chinese Macau um, restriction around uh, gambling that's why all these gambling stocks with the win even Las Vegas sand they're all going down here I'm slowly accumulating as they go down and uh, do a nice uh, have a nice position here I've seen this movie before whenever China talks about gambling all these gambling stocks will come down that's always a good time to buy these gambling stocks next we got grow generation here you know great uh, uh, cannibal stock here pick and shovel type play here stock has been down off late I'm slowly accumulating uh, grow generation here nice uh, sales growth as you can see here and um, short ratio is eight percent and then you got a couple more here any re and uh, Dada Nexus here as you see here all of these stocks have got high institutions buying that's a good sign here um, and as you scan through here from a RSI levels um, you know these are coming down to better levels here with the exception of AMC which is also dropping off off late I'd be a buyer of uh, stocks like any even Occugen is good at these levels slowly it's uh, gone up a little bit but I would be looking at looking to buy these stocks uh, like any um, re and data nexus at these levels uh, given there is a high short ratio in uh, many of these stocks here so with that um, you know one way to you can look at like we talked about look for greens in insider buys institution buys and nice uh, rule of 40 when it comes to quarter over quarter growth plus gross margin greater than 40 look for low RSI below 55 or so and look for stocks which are sold off that could be a good contrarian type buy in some times you can look at short term improvements in one week or one day for example the oxygen even though it dropped off a little bit trying to show some progress in one week you could uh, you know look at buying this slowly uh, as it cools off a little more right now RSI 61 you could wait for it to cool off a little bit option sellers uh, look for IV percentile 
option uh, if it's high you could sell some premium option buyers look for low IV percentile uh, that way you don't pay too much for the options uh, and if you if you want to buy some put options to hedge yourself look for stocks which are oversold and low RSI you know for example if you look through this list here um, you know this one ADAP right now stock is oversold um, and a low uh, IV percentile stocks like that could be a good one to buy some put options stock is hot but uh, IV percentile is low you know this stock price being low there is no point in buying put option but typically you know you could do such strategies you know to look at high RSI and low uh, high RSI and low IV percentile if you want to buy some put option at a higher price so with that let's jump in here and look at more stocks we got a couple more here look at Joby here aviation play institutions are buying stock has been selling off I think this one is a good one to buy slowly into this weakness I'm sure these guys will come back up I think aviation is a good industry um, you know there are temporary weakness that's when you jump in and then you got China data here just a ten dollar stock institutions are buying China data and as you can scan through here RSI is uh, 43 uh, good one to buy at these levels here stock has been selling off and then you got uh, HYFM um, it's again cannabis play here $45 institutions are buying big time I think we should buy along with the institutions RSI is 47 still slow low I think it's a good one here and then you got BW um, and Comcast and so on and so forth uh, look through here many of these are strong candidates from a fundamental perspective BW satisfies rule of 40 um, let's see here rule of 40 handily and also RSI is low uh, 39 uh, good one to buy here even IV percentile is low even if you want to buy call option you could do that and stock has been doing great in one year 143% off late it's been dropping off that's a good one to buy a stock like BW who your Chinese play here RSI is 39 you could buy some at these levels and hold on China has been cracking down pretty hard on their stocks and their companies I think uh, this one might take some time but good to accumulate slowly and we got calm cash here looks like in inside of the selling a little bit and RSI is 52 could be a good one to look at this slowly and take it from there and we've got a couple more you can scan through like AVXL and uh, you know SLCA GRP KPTI you could look at some of these uh, stocks and take it from there so with that let's uh, look at one more page here um, I will not cover this in too great detail look for insiders buying you know these are great candidates you could look at those and look at stock like MYOV looks like insiders are buying big time a low dollar stock here RSI size 45 you know that's a good one to look at and see if you can buy along with these ins insiders given it's a strong company from a, a fundamental perspective stock has not done great you know in a one year's time here but you know it's good to buy along with the institutions and uh, you know it might take some time to play out but it's a good one to buy and this also has a high short ratio this can create a short squeeze and also look for high short ratios here high short ratio coupled with the low RSI could be a good one for any um, you know any stock moves and you know stock swing trades um, to take advantage of short squeeze situation and looks like here you got Brooklyn here this used to be one of those Mimi stocks right now $11 RSI 60 as it cools off a little bit Brooklyn is the good one to buy also and next we got uh, I think that's pretty much with that thank you very much uh, what we'll also do right now before we wrap up we'll look at few stocks in a little more detail and for that we'll go to thinkorswim from TD Ameritrade so let me go into um, a small uh, chart here uh, probably a one grid um, here all right so let's look at a few stocks first one I'll look at is support.com SPRT
So as you look at SPRT here, let's make a little big here. Stock has gone up due to the short squeeze up to $59. That's a huge move. Now it's coming back way back here around uh, um, $11.80. As you can see here, touched below 200 day moving average. On the balance volume is pretty steady. Tells you there are more buyers here. And the RSI has dropped off. Tells you stock is oversold here. And as you scan through here, uh, right now uh, we, we are bullish, but the blue line is coming down. Red line is come, going back up a little bit. This might create a bearish crossover if red line crosses over blue line. So that's why uh, it's right now it's uh, you know kind of borderline. And as you look at IV, IV implied wall, implied wall is 66, not good for you to buy call options but you could uh, sell some put options at a lower price and make some money that way. And as you scan through, check-in money flow is indicating steady level of money here, a uh, flat. So I would be willing to buy some uh, SPRT at these levels slowly. And the company also acquired a Bitcoin miner. I think they are trying to diversify into Bitcoin also, along with this whole Bitcoin mania. So I would be willing to buy some SPRT at these levels. And let's also look at uh, TTM squeeze. Looks like uh, there is uh, some two-day, weekly, and monthly. There is some TTM squeeze indication coming here. You could look at uh, TTM squeeze and see what's going on. And let's look at SPRT. So as you look at SPRT here, uh, as you scan through, uh, nothing great. I don't see any TTM squeeze coming up here. We could go to our next stock here. And for that, let's look at MDXG. All right. So this, um, this one has dropped like a big time yesterday, as you can see here. All time high is 15.99. Uh, came down to 557. I think there is a you know little bit bad news looks like. Um, so that's why stock came down. Uh, so what what we should do is we could look take advantage of this here, and uh, let's go back to the stock here. As you scan through stock dropped big time on the balance volume also dropped um, along with the RSI. All the charts are ugly right now. No point in looking at the chart. I think what we'll do is we'll be a contrarian here, buy some MDXG at these levels and take it from there. And also let's next look at Win WYNN. It's a great uh, gambling joint uh, because of Macau news stock kind of gave back a little bit. As you can see here, stock dropped big time and there's a good support level around 88 or so as you see here. Uh, I would be a buyer of uh, win here along with Las Vegas sand and take it from there. And let's look at one more GRWG. Growth generation, I think uh, off late stock has been uh, uh, in the trading range, a little bit down. Uh, on the balance volume is also down. RSI is also down uh, as you can see here. And bearish from a DMI perspective, red line being on top, uh, blue line being in the bottom. And there's some positive news around uh, check-in money flow. Smart money is uh, trying to go into the stock here. I'll be a buyer of growth generation at these levels here slowly and accumulate. And I also like one more here, TXG, 10X Genomics, uh, one of the great uh, biotech plays here. As you scan through, you know, this stock also dropped big time. I'm a buyer of uh, 10X Genomics at these levels. It's a great stock. You see a lot of good buying opportunities as you can see here. And on the balance volume is steady. Tells you folks are buying into this weakness here. Uh, right now chart is ugly. As you can see here, DMI shot up. And uh, check-in money flow is a little bit uh, coming down here. So, you know, I'll be a contrarian here. Buy some 10X Genomics at these levels and take it from there. So with that, um, thank you very much. Uh, happy investing and trading. Uh, please subscribe.